everyone welcome back to adventure all the way i'm emma and i am a homeschooling mum of three in the uk and i have a babe box discover the best beauty now i've had a birch box and i have had a glossy box and this is my first babe box it's a bit difficult to get into not gonna lie so i will do, 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 do. says Babe box, spread the babe box love and post a hashtag. Hashtag love babe box. It says, welcome. Ooh, ooh, it looks interesting. Welcome to the babe box club. Thanks, babe box. We're here to introduce you to, the, to new beauty products you will love. Every month we'll curate and send you five to six amazing full-size products picked by the world's biggest beauty bloggers. A lot of bees in one sentence. Excited? Us too. Love the babe box team. So, ooh, it's a very pretty box inside. Like it's almost like you could colour it in, which is nice. I always appreciate a bit of colouring. Uh, we've got here. How do you pronounce it? Focalore? Focalore? How do you say it? This is a matte lip crayon. Uh, it says Focalore. Focalure, fake folk allure. I think that's what we're gonna say it says. Matte lip crayon is highly pigmented lipstick that glides on smoothly and stays put. And it says it's cruelty free and it's got a shelf life of two years. And it's red. Not a red kind of girl, but Bessie is my five year old and she loves a bit of makeup, does Bessie? Let's open it up and have a good look at it, shall we? If I can get it out of here. Plastic. Wish it wasn't covered in plastic though. That would be cool if it wasn't. Bay box. Less plastic, please. I know the. I know you have hardly got any plastic in here, but you don't need that tiny bit of plastic there, do you? Really. Oh my God, let's open it up. So it looks like a lipstick, and looks like a wax crayon. <laughs> And goes up and down like a lipstick. Shall we? It's very red, isn't it? Oh, it barely even goes on the lip at the top, Rick. Um, I'm not doing this to make it look pretty. I'm literally doing it so you can see what colour it looks like. <laughs> As you can see, maybe it's not my fault. Let's see. Shall I just take a rub off of the cloth? Oh dear. Oh dear, that's very good, isn't it? I had to really scrub at that. Get it off my chin. I really, really scrubbed. I mean, I'm still there. I'm impressed. I'm not going to wear it because I'm not really into red lipstick, but I am, I am impressed with how well that stayed on. And I would be interested in getting that in a different colour. In a nude. Oh, <gasps> volumizing mascara. Interesting. Again, wrapped in plastic. I would prefer if it wasn't. The glossy box stuff wasn't wrapped. Any of that stuff wasn't wrapped. Actually, no. One of them was wrapped in plastic, but it was a. It's a lidded item. It's not. In, it wasn't in a box. It would also make it easier to get out if it wasn't wrapped in plastic. <laughs> It doesn't end. Right, here we go. So, volumizing mascara, and it doesn't say what colour it is. I well, you can't even say it's black because the package is black because it's all black. Here's the thing it says bomb lashes volumizing mascara. That is black, and there's not a lot of clumping on there compared to my uh, mascara that I have. Look, Let's use the lighting, that's not great. Is it? But that's black. I'm not going to put that right on now because I can't get it, get it on very well at the best of times. Can you all see me well enough for the lighting's... Oh, there we go. The lighting's being a bit weird. So, that's the mascara. And then we've got a little fishy brush. <laughs> like a little mermaid or a fish or something. That's really quite cool, isn't it? Probably go well with that setting powder I just got in the glossy box, is not it? That is really cute. Not not hugely flimsy, nice rose gold handle, and uh, pink and 
pink and white bristles. They're very soft. Very nice. Very nice. Very soft. And this says eyes in massive letters too. Oh, it's an eyeshadow palette. Seeing as this babe box was free, I am pretty impressed. And it's actually, these are actually in my colour as well. Naked eyeshadow, pa eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. Again, cruelty free. Less plastic on this one, but still wrapped in plastic. I'm wrapping it. And get in the box, which I've just ripped. And they're not easy to get into, the babe box stuff, I'm not going to lie. Oh, well, that's very neat and tidy, isn't it? It's got a mirror in there and a brush. And, oh, my gosh, those colours are lovely. Look at that. Oops, that bit plastic came out. You can see my camera in there in the background. Look. <sighs> Let's try and put my hand at the back. Give it a bit of... There you go. <laughs> very sparkly. I mean, I'm really impressed with that. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. Nice little neat. Package. No chocolate in this. No chocolate in this one. Unlike the glossy box, but you know the typical <laughs> shredded paper stuff. This it's a face mask. Moist and bright facial caviar. I'm assuming that's the company and not the ingredients. <laughs> whitening, firming. A whitening, firming face mask. Have you seen my face? Could it be any whiter? Really? Why would you want whitening? A whitening luster. Yeah, it's got caviar in it. <laughs> just sorry, I was just reading that. With deep sea caviar extracts. <laughs> Let skin is moist and smooth as newborn. Have you used firming whitening face masks? I'm not sure this is something that I will be using. <sighs> but I'm quite impressed with these full size products so next, um, the babe box I will use the mascara and the eyeshadow and possibly this fishy brush but I'm more likely to use this for cleaning my sewing machine than I am for my face um, so I'm not hugely impressed with the babe box I would probably give it a six out of ten um just because it's got a massive eyeshadow palette and the mascara looks really good um but the other there's i mean there's there's five things in there yeah five things in there and i'm going to use three of them so hence the six out of ten um but you can't please everyone can you uh the birch box didn't get a good result did it we've seen that already and the glossy box probably gets an eight out of ten so you know I haven't, I haven't kind of thought about that hugely what I'm going to give it yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be an eight. So that's my, that's my thing. Um, I like the babe box and it was free. I'm not going to complain about that. I just paid shipping. Um, you get your first one to try. I will be cancelling my subscription on this one just because the amount of makeup I wear, that's enough for me until it runs, you know, until I, it runs out. Mascara, eyeshadow and a bit of lippy. Not that I'm probably going to not use the lippy, but like that's enough you know that's enough for me personally however if you're really really into beauty and want a decent a decent little box to come through every month at a good price that's not hugely expensive the babe box is definitely for you i think so that's my recommendation is if you're in really really into beauty the babe box is probably for you if you're like me and not hugely into beauty but want to have a little bit of makeup and get yourself some nice post then and a surprise then the babe box is possibly a one-off thing for you but maybe not a monthly subscription um reasonably impressed as that's why i got a six out of ten but not hugely so anyway that's my babe box review i hope you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up if you liked it and would like more reviews of anything of any kind and uh, if you want me to review anything in particular please feel free to drop me a comment um if you are a business like babe box and you would like me to review something pop me a message either on youtube or on instagram and we can chat because i would love to review your stuff for you thank you bye <laughs>